Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Houston Station, uh, I'm ready for the event. Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is Yumi Matsutoya in NHK. How do you hear me? This is the International Space Station. I can hear you loud and clear. Mr. Onishi, good evening. This is Yumi Matsutoya. For 44 years, I have been producing and singing many songs about the universe. So today, to be able to talk to you, Onishi-san, when you're on the International Space Station, I'm delighted to have this opportunity. Thank you for joining me. Yumi-san, good Yumi-san, good evening. How do you do? I'm Takuya Onishi. Well, on the Star Festival, I got on the Soyuz and arrived here at ISS. I'm always listening to your voice over the speaker, but the fact that I'm able to talk to you directly like this, I've been looking forward to this day. Thank you. So you're living on the International Space Station, which is a small star, so you're kind of like the little prince, Mr. Onishi. The little prince wanders through the universe, and he discovers many precious things about life. Mr. Onishi, since going to the universe, what kind of discoveries and epiphanies have you had? Well, here in outer space, there are a number of things that I've noticed, and I think it's different depending on the individual, but in my case, I have come to discover the possibilities of mankind. The Earth and the space here is totally different. Those things that have been accustomed to on Earth, that is, gravity, does not exist here. And I think that this is a drastic change in environment. After coming here for a few days, I felt very uneasy. I saw some changes in my body. But after a week, I got adjusted, and it felt normal. Floating in space like this, I've come to take this for granted, and I really came to appreciate human adaptability, flexibility, and the potential possibility of mankind. That's so awe-inspiring. Mr. Onishi, I understand that you're practicing the alto sax. What kind of music are you listening to in outer space? And in the universe, do people continue to seek music? What kind of role do you think music plays? Hi. Well, here, I'm listening to the same kind of music as I was listening to on Earth. Films, drama, soundtrack. Um, I'm very fond of listening to such music, and I also like to listen to J-pop. Well, here, everything is in English, and therefore I miss Japanese sometimes, so I like to listen to these songs. And also here, this is a world where human beings cannot live normally. And so we produce this box, ISS, and I'm living inside this box now. Inside this module, there are a lot of life-sustaining devices, and these machines are running 24 hours a day. It's very inorganic, this sound, and you don't hear the sound of wind, or you don't hear the rain hitting on the windows, and nothing like that can be heard here. Well, music, this is artificial, it is man-made, but these music 
carry the emotions of the composer, the lyric writer, and therefore music in outer space does make me feel that I'm really living here. For, mu for me, music here is something indispensable. So, the zero gravity space, what kind of experience is it like? I'm very interested in understanding what it feels like. Does the music feel different? Do you think that at some point in the future there will be concerts held in outer space? Well, weightlessness, simply put, it really feels good. Yes, you can really relax and float. You feel that your body is truly relaxed. You're very busy and you're tired, but after a night's sleep, you have really recovered. So I think it really feels good to be in this environment. I'm physically rested, but what about my mind? There are a lot of information coming uh, to me, more uh, than on Earth. Well, on the Earth, our bodies are fixed on the ground with gravity, but we are in a three-dimensional space, and we can use all three dimensions. If you lose something here, it drops on the ground on Earth, but here you don't know where these things go. So there's a lot of information out here, more than on Earth, and I also am listening to the sound of machines all day long. So I think um, my brain and mentally I'm fatigued more than on ground. Music really helps me to relax. It really makes me feel good. And if there are going to be more and more people traveling to space, I'm sure that they would love to hold concerts. And we, the astronauts, we are not required to have any artistic talent. But in the future, I hope people like you will come out here and tell us how you feel in outer space. When I write songs about the universe, up until now, I often write about pitch black darkness and a glimmer of hope coming from this infinite space. So, Mr. Onishi, for you, what does the existence of the universe mean? Well, for me, and this is the world of unknowns. We humans have not traveled to most of the parts here in outer space. There are a lot of unknown things here. I think that human beings have this impulse to see things and listen to things that they've never heard of or seen before. And I think that humans have evolved to what they are today because they have this feeling that they want to know more. Now, our lifestyle has become very convenient these days. But in order for mankind to continue to exist, I think we should continue to have this desire for exploration. I think this space is the destination of my want for exploration. Being in the vast universe, do you ever feel solitude? When you do feel solitude, then how do you overcome that? Well, here I have my teammates whom I trust, and on the ground I have a number of people working with me. Now at ISS, and the work here is not done by a single individual. Instead, we have this team where everyone works together and cooperates. We do a lot of experiments, research here, and try to feedback uh, the findings so as to better people's lives on Earth. So I'm working in this big team. Fortunately, here in outer space, I've never felt any solitude because this ISS is about 400 kilometers from Earth. 
And this is like the distance between Tokyo and Osaka. It's that short a distance. The earth really feels close to me, and when I look out the window, I can see the earth in front of me. So I really don't feel that I'm that far away from earth. But if in the future, um, if we are going to travel even further out into space, well, um, mankind has made it to the moon. But if you look at the earth from moon, I think um, it will look bigger than us looking at the moon from Earth, and I see that there is life on Earth, but if we were to travel even further, I think the Earth would look like a star, a dot. And once that happens, what would people feel like? Um, traveling far from the Earth where we were born, and once we reach this distance where the Earth looks just like a star is something I really want to know. And at that point in time, I think that person will feel solitude. And music will help people feel that they're close to home, close to Earth. So I think that music can play such a big role. This year, I wrote a new song called Universal Library. If Earth is one life entity, then the universe, I think, is kind of like a library. So the universe is a huge library packed with a tremendous amount of information. Here we learn, we play, and we live. Mr. Onishi, when you hear the words universal library, what kind of image comes to mind? Universal Library. That's a very interesting idea. We astronauts, um, in our own ways, try to face out of space and feedback our feelings to the people on ground. But astronauts, we are not artists. For example, when you're chosen to be an astronaut, you have to go through this screening process, and there was an assignment to draw a picture. I and Yui, uh, I think um, that we were the worst two artists, but yet we were chosen as astronauts, meaning that artistic talent is not assessed in this process. So. There are limitations to our imagination, and people like you, if you could come here to space, I think there are a lot of things that you can express. Now, what I imagine from the word universal library, all the books in the universe are gathered at this library. I'm sorry, I'm not very creative in answering. I think that's perfectly fine. So, if I were to sing one of my songs in the universe, what do you think that song might be? Well, this is just my image. There's Love Wars. Um, I think that's a scientific fiction type of song. So that's the song that I can imagine you singing. And hitomi o tojite, closing your eyes. And just listening to it, you can imagine uh, the nature on Earth in outer space. You tend to imagine such images, so that might be a good song. In that case, let me sing the song, hitomi o tojite. ガヤンダラ大きまで船を出そう手紙を入れたガラス瓶を持って<笑> Thank you. I'm very, very happy. My mother is a fan of yours. 
And so I've been listening to your songs ever since when I was a boy. I never thought that here at the International Space Station I could hear your song live. Your song reached us here at ISS. I'm very touched. Thank you. I'm also very touched. Thank you so much. I know this is out of the blue, but Mr. Onishi, can you rotate for us? Okay, I'll try. I don't know if I'll succeed, but I'll try. Yes, I got stuck, but... There are so many things, too many things, that I'd like to ask. I'm sure that space must feel very vast. Yes. Well, I think that um, you can use the ceiling, you can use the wall, unlike on Earth. And I think that um, the space is three times larger than what you would feel on Earth, but it's strange. But underneath, um, I still feel that that's the floor, and there are always lights on the top. So if there isn't anything, I'm standing like this. Humans are always thinking that one side is the floor, the other is the ceiling, and that makes us more comfortable. So even far away from Earth, I really feel deep down that I'm living as if I were on Earth here at ISS. So if you were to think of somebody here on Earth, who would that person be? Well, it's my family. You asked about solitude, but I don't feel solitude here, but the fact that I cannot meet my family, I really miss them. The fact that I don't feel solitude does not mean that I don't miss anyone on Earth. That's what I feel. In order to meet my family, I want to return safely to Earth. Thank you again very much. And one last thing. Can you share a message with us? Yes. Thank you for your support, Yumi-san. I wish you all the best in your music activities. Music gives hope and courage and dreams to many, many people. And I, just like you, as an astronaut, would like to communicate the beauty of space. I would like to devise ideas so that I can communicate this message to as many people as possible. I will be staying here for another month, a little less than a month, I will do my very best to the end. And I want to return safely to Earth so that I can meet all of you again. Once again, thank you. Mr. Onishi, thank you for joining us. We are looking forward to your return to Earth. Thank you. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing you on Earth. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you. Thank you, Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency participants. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications. <laughs>